guys, Ray Designs here. Of course, I'm back with another tutorial. I wanted to say something before we start. Um, the reason I haven't uploaded for two weeks is I actually just got into a huge design program at, uh, and uh, you know I'm trying to get ready for it all and start Monday, so this should be up in the next day or so. But you know, it's Thursday, so you know, of course, I'm getting ready for everything. So. I've been very busy, but I do want to thank you for amazing feed all the amazing feedback on the 50,000 subscribers graphics pack. It was um, something that I worked really, really hard on, and I put a lot of effort into uh, really giving you guys something, and uh, I wanted to, you know, of course, give back for the 50,000 subscribers, and you guys blew me away and got me 1,000 likes on that video, which was unreal. So thank you again. And hopefully we can do another for 60, 70, 80, you know, whatever it is. And um, it would be awesome. But I'm going to start with the tutorial now. Anyways, today's tutorial, I've been getting a lot of requests. And everybody keeps asking me, Rated, you, you know, I need a rebrand, revamp te a template. What, what do I, you know, where do I go? Well, there is one in my pack. Um... It, you can go download it if you really don't feel like making one, but I'm going to teach you guys how to make one right now. They're very simple, and of course, this is where all, you know your creativity is 100% key. Anyways, this is the one I've made. Um, basically, it's very it's pretty simple. You know, I did some cool stuff in the background, and you know, basically made the focus on the actual product itself. So, what we're going to want to do first is most people. Um, like to make these 1920 by 1080, but I don't. I like to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, mine, I make, I think it's, here, let me see what this one is. I think it's 2650, 2560 by 50, or 1440. So the file size you're going to want to do is 20, oh, 2560 by 1440. And it's basically the same dimensions, I think. Maybe it might be a little different as like a 1920 by 1080. Um, completely up to you. But this is exactly what you want to start out with. And you can label whatever you want. Uh, but this is what you want to start out with. Of course, we're going to start out with a nice gray background like I always do. And we're going to basically do some uh, mapping real quick, right? And mapping or, you know, um, basically showing where everything's going to go. Um, in my other template, of course, I had things here up in the top right. I had something here and down here. Now we could, of course, switch this up and make this a million different ways, but I'm just going to show you from start to finish how you can do it. So the first thing you want to do is, and this is always a good thing to have for a reference point, is you're going to want to open up um, some sort of YouTube banner that you have. Um, I'm going to just, I think I'm going to use mine just, you know, for an example. Uh, where is it? <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I don't know why I can't find it. All right, well, here's my Twitter. We'll start with the Twitter. Completely fine. So here's our Twitter header. Of course, pretty simple. What you want to do is drag this right on in. And, of course, this is exactly why I keep this a very big size, because you're not going to have to shrimp, shrink this. You're just going to throw it on in and keep it the way it is. Um, and put it into... Somewhere that you, you know you you feel is right. Um, me, I like to keep the headers in the top left corner. I like to keep the icon in the top right corner. My opinion. But Bef before we do anything with mapping, your rulers are going to be your guide. So if you hit Command R, Control R on your keyboard, and this it'll bring out your rulers. So I'm going to make margins, and um, margins honestly are probably some of the most you know, uh, hold on one second, sorry. Um, they're, the, they're the best things in the world, and they're the most helpful things in the world, because in actual design, in the uh, real <laughs> world, you're, you're going to have a margin, um, especially in, uh, I guess, uh, different types of web design. Everything is a margin. Uh, it's marge, you know, so definitely start using these. And you're going to just make it, a, it's about, well, if we zoom in, 
I'd have to say it's about one and a half inch margin, which is perfect for what we're going to do now. And we're going to just take this and we're going to take our shape tool. Um, and we're not going to necessarily uh, make a perfect, uh, we're going to take, you know, we're going to basically outline this whole, our, uh, our header. And it's going to be completely white or whatever, you know, I, whatever color you guys have it on. And I'm going to pull this behind and I'm going to make sure that nothing's sticking out. This is fine. All right, perfect. So we're going to actually bring this in. All right, so after that, we can hold Alt and Shift, and we're going to make kind of a kind of almost like a stroke type situation, but we're going to make it pointy, of course, because, I mean, who the hell wants a, a rounded stroke on a pointy canvas? And that is exactly how we're going to do this. So, of course, you're going to move your margins, and that is the first one. So if we zoom out, there's our first presentation. Uh, whatever color this of this you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll do, for this one we'll do orange, because I mean it is primarily the, the color that I was using in this br uh, branding, or vamping, whatever, it doesn't really matter what you call it. But um, let me try to find my new, my newest band, I, you know, I'm one of those people, and I mean, you guys can tell me if, <laughs> if you're like that. I, I tend to just label everything the same thing over and over, and I get lost. Um, just how I am. I have so many, here it is, so many different things. So, of course, when you open up your banner, um, it's going to look like, you know, your strip and then the two black bars. Unless you save them without the black bars, completely up to you. But you're going to want to take a cut, and it's going to be a lot easier for you to um, do this with the black bars. So we're going to basically just eliminate the black bars here. We're going to zoom in and make sure that you're not cutting, you know, part of the banner off. And we're going to click that, and we're going to do that again down here. And sometimes, you know, I start a little smaller just so I can, and that's perfect, exactly what we want. So after that, we're going to just take this and drag it in, and once again, we have a perfect um, size. That's why I do this a little bit bigger. I might be a little crazy, but I, I do know uh, what, it, what I'm doing when it comes to the dimensions. Um, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to zoom into 100. And we're just going to click off and see what I can do to make this a little bit... Um, And this is exactly what I wanted. So we're going to pull this down. Oh, and we're basically just going to try to surround this. And that's ex perfect, 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 perfect. And that is exactly what we're going to do. And the last one is very simple. Um, you don't even need to um, bring in like an avatar. Uh, you're going to want to take the, just a square box, hold shift, make a perfect square. And there is the uh, square for my logo, which I'll try to find again and, of course, <laughs> waste half the time finding my logo. No, but um, I'm sure I, I have one that I'll use, but... Here we go. A million different icons that I use, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me, and kind of do the same thing here. Perfect, and that is exactly what I do. Perfect example. Um, 
what I might actually want to do here is I might want to bring this in and bring this down just so we can keep this kind of organized looking. And it looks very, very good. Um, I have to say that this is kind of might be something that I might use now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so background. The background of this needs to look um, very simple. It can't look too overpowering. Some people like to take what they made, put it in the background, and blur it. But if you are going to blur something, it needs to be a subtle look. It can't be something where you you know, blur it and then keep it at 100% opacity. I mean, that's going to look absolutely overpowering. You don't want that. You want the work to speak for itself. And this is one thing that you're going to learn with present, like presentation of your work is all of your presentation of your work is going, you know, the presentation of your work actually reflects a lot of what you actually made. Um, a lot of people don't think, you know, presentation's a big deal. I'm telling you, a good presentation can take an okay design and make it unbelievable. Um, it's, it's that simple. Um, so what I do here, and this is, you know, more of a taste type thing. Um, I like to, you know, take either an image of some sort, um, whatever it is, uh, you know, I, it could be anything. It can be some sort of stock, you know, in my opinion, uh, I like to blur stocks. That's just my thought. But if you have my pack, this is a perfect time to use it. Um, you know, you can take some of my abstract stuff that I have in here. Uh, let me see what I... I don't even really remember what I put in here. <laughs> put so much in here for you guys that it, it you know, so much. Um, yeah, and you just, you take one of these, um, and it doesn't even matter the size of it. It really does not even matter the size of it. And you can just put it all the way up to the top right, or top left, sorry. Wow, getting my stuff. And you can stretch it. And the reason you're going to stretch it is because you're going to blur it anyways. So we're going to go to Filter, Gaussian Blur. Now, the thing that people like to do is I see them do this. Well, that ruins the whole design. What you want to do is you want to show that there is a design back there. Um, so I, I give it about a 5 just because of how big of the scale we're working with. And I put this to uh, Color Dodge. What that does is, is it kind of gives it a uh, a feeling, sorry, that it's still there, the presence is still there, but it's not overpowering, and that's perfect. So what you do is, is after that, and here's the technique that I've shown a lot of people, but I'm going to show you guys, is you keep it on color dodge, make a pretty big brush down here, and take the color of whatever you know the, the dominant color is, and just put it there, pull it down, you know maybe about ten, it kind of glows a little bit more. Not really with this stock. Um, I'm going to show you a different example now. Uh, trying to get a different stock image. Completely sorry there, guys. But um, yeah, it really, really can make a, a good presentation, can really, really help your design on a, a positive note. So we'll just take this. I found this. I've seen a million people use this, but I have it, and it, I'm just going to. We'll use it anyways. Um, yeah, and we'll just switch this to color dodge. And if you just put a, a nice brush under it, switch it to about 50, maybe even 10, and switch this filter, Gaussian blur, should just automatically fix itself, and <clears throat> you can lower the opacity of the tad or whatever. And that's basically the arrangement. Um, it's nothing, I mean, you can type whatever you want on the bottom. Like, of course, in mine, I have, like, you know, my contact information, whatever it is. You can do little cool things like that. Um, I don't know why this isn't looking as good as I thought it would look. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's different colors you can work. Oh, there we go. You know, different colors you can work with. Of course, I always do the curves on the back in the image just because I don't want it to overpower. And of course, what the blur does is, is it kind of, you know, subtly um, it subtly will give, you know, the 
the appeal, you know, like the, you're appealing to something, like you're, you're looking at something, you're like, well, there is something in the background, but the focal point is going to be what's not blurred, because your eyes automatically go to what's not blurred. So, of course, this has been another tutorial, guys. Um, it's very simple. It's something that, you know, I feel like I had to do just because I wanted to, you know, help you guys out with it. And I know there's a lot of people that want to kind of not use a template of mine or, like, not want to use a template. Because I know a lot of designers that won't use other designers' stuff. So here's how I do it. Um, you guys can, you know, of course, before I end this, I do want to say that, you know, save the PSD. All you got to do is just swap these out all the time. Uh, pretty simple but um, yeah thank you guys so much and you know if you guys like this video uh, give it a nice thumbs up or you know like or whatever and comment for some more tutorials I need some ideas guys I'm getting very uh, uh, you know my mind is just I can't figure out anything you guys want so leave some ideas tweet me some questions if you want anyways I've been rated thank you guys very much and uh, deuces